Hey guys, what's up? KLN here and welcome back to another video on the channel. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and today I'm going to be doing a 91 rated road to the final Roberto Firmino review. So it's 5 foot 11 tall, high, high work rates, right footed primarily with 5 star skills and a 4 star weak foot and I picked him up for 800,000 coins. Now I was waiting until the absolute possibility that Liverpool cannot go through to review basically what is the final version and well normal version of this card as well so he can start a striker and center forward brazilian liverpool and premier league links to go with that as well i bought him with the shadow chem cell so i decided to keep the shadow chem cell pace is going to go up to 96 shooting looks very good 93 attack positioning 88 finishing 87 shot power 86 long shots 89 volleys and 82 penalties passing is sensational 90 vision with 92 short pass and 90 curve standout stats there and it's also got some pretty decent long passing as well when it comes down to the dribbling, everything is 94, which is pretty strange. But anyway, defending on the card is definitely more than good enough to play him. As centre mid, he's got 74 interceptions, 93 heading accuracy, 66 defensive awareness, and 81 stand tackle. Physical looks very good as well, 88 jumping, 91 stamina, 81 strength, and 82 aggression just to top it off. When it comes down to the player traits on the card, which you guys will see in a second, he's got the flare traits, unfortunately. The flare trait is all he has. Now, when it comes down to positions, I'm going to try him out as striker, cam, and centre mid in a 4 1 2 1 to narrow, and striker as a false 9 in a 4 3 2 1. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the gameplay highlights with 91 rated road to the final, Roberto Firmino. So, straight off the bat here in the first clip of the first game, Elliot plays a great pass through to Firmino, green timed on the left foot, smashed into the back of the net. That number 22 looks absolutely horrible. And I'm going to have to change that to number 9 after this game. But a great finish to get the first goal of this video. And here, moving on to, well, basically something that Firmino does best. So he loses it, but he wins it back very well. Just going to get forward and see if we can hold the ball up and wait for another supporting run. I see Luis Diaz in the middle. Can he make that pass through to him? I'm going to try it out. And what a pass that is from Roberto Firmino. And Luis Diaz is there to tuck it away. And Firmino does get the first assist of this video. And what an assist it is. Moving on to the third clip of this video, well, of this match, sorry, with Firmino. He has it here, gets away from one, two, and three. Just going to use that pace, runs all the way behind. Rainbow flicks the goalkeeper, and just to be sure, I was not going to try volley that. Goes for the header, and we do score an absolutely ridiculous goal. Great skill to get past the goalkeeper, and the trademark, well, one of the 100 trademark celebrations that Firmino has is put on display there. Moving on to the second match of this video, Marquisio has it. Gets a pass into Firmino, that's a good touch. That's brilliant dribbling, and on the 4-star weak foot, he thumps it into the near post once more. Honestly, this guy is absolutely sensational. The dribbling is very good. So are the runs that he makes. Great movement, just move it to space, and we do end up scoring. But we're not done yet, yet, yet. Salah has it. Firmino's at the far post. Great pass by Salah, and a clinical, fantastic volley from Firmino in the number 9 shirt, as he rightfully should be. Great finish, bouncing volley into the ground and into the back of the net. Still in the same game, Marquisio snatches that one up to Salah. Firmino takes a very good touch to get past his man. I think that's Samuel Titi. Threw on goal here. Cancelo's not going to catch up to him. And a powerful strike. A driven shot actually on the left foot. Smacked into the bottom corner. Keeper stands no chance at all, but all that possible because of the great touch he takes to get through on goal in the first place. Here, yeah, just utilizing the 5-star skills of flip-flap. Gets into the space again and he's in the box. He is not going to miss from that distance. Easy finish from Roberto Firmino and the trademark eye-covering celebration that he revealed against PSG is a celebration that he has right here. Anyway, Firmino collects it from Salah, moves it on to Luis Diaz who wins the header and Firmino gets it back and on the right foot once more smashes it into the back of the net. Great running from Firmino. He just makes that pass into Luis Diaz and two seconds later it's in the box to score the goal. But here Firmino has it dropped very deep, can I create a chance here, great skill, takes one, two, three, four plays out the game, goes for the chip and that is beautiful, it's absolutely beautiful from Roberto Firmino, a beautiful goal from a beautiful footballer, honestly this guy is so, so fun to use but we're not done just yet, Salah sends this one in behind, Firmino's thrown goal, I'm just going to use that speed. We're not going to get caught, runs around the defender and finds the top corner. Genuinely, this man can do absolutely everything. You guys saw him put in a tackle earlier before getting the assist to find Luis Diaz. He can dribble, he can 
outrun players, he can outmuscle players. Here again, he's making running behind. Can Makaleli find him? If he gets to that, he has gotten to that and he smashes it against the post on that left foot. What a volley that would have been. Very, very unlucky, but we don't end up scoring. Anyway, moving on to the last assist of this video, what a ball. What a ball on that left foot, slices it in behind perfectly for Luis Diaz, who is able to run in behind, good strength to hold off his man, and he thumps it into the back of the net. Anyway, we're not done just yet here. Another beautiful pass from Firmino, showing the Brazilian in him, and unfortunately, Diaz could not get to that touch that he takes, and Ramos ends up cleaning up. But moving on to the next goal of this video, Firmino, from kickoff gets away from one two three four Cancelo is five can we go all the way here just gonna slow down flip flap into the space very tight angle and he scores he somehow manages to score green timed just to make sure but the keeper stands no chance there what a finish from Firmino he went all by himself ran through the entire team and scores a sensational goal at the end of it but onto the next goal maybe even better Makaleli has it gets it into Firmino I think this guy stopped playing I'm not too sure it does look like he has he has but anyway I'm gonna go alone with Firmino regardless and a fancy finish at the end of it honestly I find it easier to dribble players when they are playing as compared to when they are not because the computer can just put in an auto tackle and win the ball back but anyway with that being said it is time to review the card and as you can see in five games he's managed 11 goals and two assists that is all in weekend league qualifiers he is absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to go through the stats, rank each category out of 10, tell you the best position, best way to use this card, and then if he is worth the coin. So when it comes down to the pace with the Shadow Chem style or the Hunter Chem style, it is absolutely ridiculous. He feels and is very fast. He can run in behind very easily and run through teams very easily as well. So pace, I'm going to give him a 9.1 out of 10. I feel as though he's very fast. Shooting is very good. I do think the best chem style, if you are playing him as striker, would be the hunter chem style. In which case, the shooting would get a 9 out of 10. But at the moment, with the shadow, I think he does deserve an 8.9 out of 10. This guy is very clinical. Volleys are very good. Long shots are decent, although didn't really get to test it. The finishing on the card in general is very good. And the runs he makes is sensational as well. When it comes down to the passing, again, absolutely brilliant. He can make long passes, short passes, through balls, overthroughs, basically absolutely everything. So passing gets... Also an 8.9 out of 10. Dribbling, sensational. Obviously, it's going to get a 9.4 because every single stack is 94. But I'm going to give him a 9.5 because he does have the five-star skills as well, which makes a huge difference. Now, when it comes down to defending, I've obviously gotten him with a shadow cam style, so defending is going to be a bit better. And I do think the defending is pretty solid. So I'm going to give him a 7.1 out of 10. For defending, it is very good. He puts in a good tackle. And he's always in the right place at the right time. Even if you are playing him at centre mid, he's not the best of defensive midfielders. But if he's at centre mid, he will put in a shift. He will win the ball back. And obviously the physicality on the card does help as well. Interceptions are decent and he can definitely win headers for your team in that midfield. So defending, I'm going to give him a 7.2 out of 10. And physical, an 8.5. He lost the full 90. He's pretty strong. He can jump up and win headers for your team. And has got 93 heading accuracy as well, so it will land up at your player's feet at the end of it. Now, best cam style, if you're playing him as centre mid, the shadow cam style. If you're playing him a cam or striker, I do think the hunter cam style is the way to go. Now, how do I think you should use this card? I'm going to be completely honest with you, just as he plays in real life. 4-3-2-1 or even whatever formation you want to play, put him as striker and have him set as a false 9 and stay forward. It is the best way to use this card. He can drop deep. Just run wherever he wants to on the field, create chances for teammates or running behind is all up to him. So genuinely, I think him as a false nine is very good. He can definitely act as a get in behind striker as well. But I think false nine is definitely the way to go. Now, is this card worth the coins? 100%. 100%. 800k is a lot of money. I do know that. But in my opinion, he is the best striker I have used in the Premier League so far. There's some players you just use and you immediately know they are absolutely insane. And Firmino is 100% one of those players. He feels insane on the ball, very quick, very good at dribbling. Passing is very good as well. And the shooting is clinical. So genuinely, this guy is honestly completely worth the 800,000 coins you would spend for him. And I do 100% recommend him for your team. So with that being said, I do bring an end to the video. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.